Assuming that you've already drawn these sprites, I'll start the coding part. So, when flag clicked, hide, because you don't want the sprite to be shown, you only want the clones to be shown. Cool. Next step, when I start as a clone, cool, then we want to have a shot. Then we want to go repeat, uh, five times, create a clone of myself, then we, we want clone counter, uh, oh, purple clone counter, right, because, you know, it's not the purple one. Then we're going to have another variable called purple clone ID, boom, so we'll go here, set purple clone counter to zero, then change purple clone counter by one, set purple clone counter, no, set purple clone ID to purple clone counter. Now I'll test it out, I went to five, one, two, three, four, five, go. Cool. So if you got five, then it worked. And if this also says five here, um, you can actually hide this and hide that. Cool. Now we need another win flag clicked right here. Um, we're gonna have a purple X, a purple Y. Cool. Now let's go. No, let's go. Del delete and delete. Cool. Um, also, what this is, uh, is clone identification. If you don't know how to do it, um, or if you don't understand it, and maybe you want to, I've got a video on how it works, so you can check that out. Anyways, um, we're also here, we're going to want a add. We're going to have Y and X, so we're going to just go like this. I'm going to chuck her there. Then we're going to have a forever loop. Then we're going to replace X position, um, Y position. Boom, boom, and we want the clone ID on that. Cool. So we come here. Oh, uh, make sure this is Y. Sweet. So, so as you can see, they changed their location. So see the number one spot on the columns. Number one location is changing. Um, but oh, we've got a problem here. So we've only got four columns, but we've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm not too sure why that is actually. Okay, so if I was to go to the counter, so that means that it's gone through the script five times. But for some odd reason, it... Oh, okay, yeah, I think I got a theory why it happened. So if we go zero, zero seconds. There we go, now we've got five. So the reason why that uh, was at four was because at the same time as this is going through, the delete is happening, where it deletes all of them, so it would create a clone, and this, as it runs, deletes this first clone. Anyways, um, we can hide this now, because we know it works, right? Yep, cool. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to chuck this and the red guy, right? So boom, boom, and boom. Okay, chuck her there, chuck her there, boom. Yeah, that looks similar. Um, but we've got a problem. We want to change this, this to red. Boom. And we want to create a red clone counter. Cool. Now change this to the red one, change this to the red one, change this to the, oh, to the red one. Cool, so. Oh, also, we need to create the list for the red guy, so. Oops, red X, red Y, there we go. So make sure you change the purples to this. Now, let me just make sure it works. Uh-oh. Um, red, oh, yeah, right here, yeah. X and, and Y. And X and Y. Now, yep. Shit, there we go. Sweet, yep, that works. Now we can hide, and we can hide. Cool, so we've got the uh, the clone creating part and recording the locations done. Now what we want to do is make our clones point towards another clone. Um, now what we're going to need to do is so that way they kind of spread out and we can see them all look at the other at clones. So, we're just going to have something that spreads them out, like spawns them. So, when flag clicked, Go to X, 
not Z, X and Y, and just go pick random and pick random. So for the Y, you want to go 180 to negative 180. That's the uh, vertical part of the screen. That's how long it is. And on the X, we want to go negative 240 and 240. That's how wide it is. Cool. So it's oh my bad. Make sure this is clone, right? Clone. Actually, we can just put that in in here. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool. So that does the uh, that does its thing. We also want to put her in the purple one. Um. Beautiful. See that? Boom. Okay. Now we actually want these guys to point towards um, other clones. So if, I'm going to show off two kind of things you can do here. Um, if you want them to point towards a specific clone, like all of them. So we will go. Oh, I'm going to mention this has some like some math shit, right? I don't like math. Math is gay. But we've got some math right here. So. When I start with the clone forever, and we're going to create two. Actually, we can do this without two variables. So we're going to go if else in here. We're going to have a list then, and the to be zero. And the whichever specific clone you choose, maybe always choosing number one. So make sure you got a Y out there, like this one. Oh, actually, uh, make sure the the red Y, right? That makes sense because you're looking for the red guys, and whilst you're on the purple sprite. So here we need to put her there, and we need the Y. Now I'll tell you why we need this in a sec. Now, let me just duplicate that guy. So, we need a point in direction and a point in direction. And we need a plus. So, this is some like game math shit. This is the, um, I'll tell you what block this is. This is point towards, that's what this block is point towards, like red clone. This is what we're coding is this block here. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, chuck her there. I'm gonna need the A10. I'm gonna put her there. Then we're going to need a division. We're going to go with the target x minus our x. Oh, make sure that's a minus, not an equals. Now we can put her there. Now we want to do the same thing, but for the y. So we've got, oops, uh, y position. Cool. So now one one. You can change this to whichever clone you want, but you can't just change this one to two. You could also change this one to two, right? That makes sense. So one one, and here we want the. Let me just use that. So, uh, like I said, I was going to explain to you why we need this. So when it's pointing towards, I'll start with this one. So when it's when it point towards the other clone, right? Pointing towards a red clone, but if the clone is below it then it kind of bugs it out. And that's why we have this one here, turning 180 degrees. So that way it actually points towards it, because like I said, it would bug out, and it would point in the opposite direction. So you need the 180 degrees there. And that's why we have this here. Cool. So um, we'll test this. Now, I think it's... Which clone is it? Oh, this fella right here. There we go. So this guy is number one, I think. We'll just do something to make it easier to know. So when I start as a clone, forever say hello or oh, say I am um, clone you? if you probably don't need to do this this is just uh, for debugging cool so this guy here is number one so if we were to surround him okay so these uh, purple fellows are a little confused Let's just fix that up. I think this one will be seen. I'm going to see it. Oh my gosh. What the hell is happening? Oh my gosh. Ah, wait. 
Oh my days. What is happening here? Okay, so these guys are a little bit confused. Oh! Oh no. X, X, Y, 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 X, X. Slightly confused. Why is this being weird? Hmm. So if we were to point them here and here. Well, so you can see how they point to him here. So this was the, the bug I was talking about. So this guy points to him. Great, great. Now we put him underneath, and he points you the exact opposite direction to him, right? So the direction that he would use to point at him, he's just pointing the opposite way, right? So I think I can fix this. Oh, I think if I go minus... Oh, crap. Minus... X position. Oh, no, minus Y position, sorry. I make so many mistakes. Um, oops. Uh, yeah, there we go. Wow, guys, you see that? I fixed it. Boom. Just like that. Now we can create a variable. So what you would do is you could place this inside the red clone if you want and change up all the numbers. I'm going to create a variable called point towards. So when flat clicked, forever, sent point towards to... Actually, we just chuck this in her, in the red one. All right, this will make sense soon. So we can get rid of this. Set point towards to red clone ID, and then if touching mouse pointer, if touching mouse pointer, ah, oh, here's one. If touching mouse pointer, all right, watch this, ready? Watch this magic. You gotta do, uh, you gotta chuck these variables in here. Don't forget that. Don't be like me. Okay, so like always, I'm always facing problems. So I've touching the mouse point. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So make sure you're a smart boy and use the when I start as a clone. So, ah, yep, there we go. You see that? You see that, guys? See that? Look at that. They all. Look at the guy touching my mouse pointer. Ready? Boom, 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 boom. Ah, yeah, see that? Isn't that cool? So that's something uh, you can do. So this math, you need this part. You have to have it. Maybe without the point towards thing on it. But the the way you choose which clone it points at is up to you. So if you want to do this or however your game works, then you can do that. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I think I was going to show you guys a, a cooler way, um, finding the closest guy to you. Yeah, now that is a whole other thing that you can use in your game for something different. So, we will grab... Um, wait, I just got to remember how this starts. So, we need an iterator, right? So, on the purple guys... Yeah, I'm just going to chuck that down there, make some room. So, when I start as a clone... And uh, make an iterator for Sprouty. We'll just call it hashtag. Yeah, that makes sense. So, set the hashtag. Then, what we need to do then is create another, another variable. Remember this part min hashtag. Now, what this min hashtag is, it's the minimum. So we're looking for the closest guy to us, right? So it'll point to whoever is closest to him. And we're also going to want to set that to that. Now let's get rid of this point towards. Okay. We can also... I'm just going to keep them ticked so you know I can see which variables I'm looking for. Now we need a repeat. We need a length. Oh, shit. We need a length. Oh. Uh, that link doesn't work. We need this link. Length of x. But red x. Okay? Because we're looking for the other guys. Now we want to go minus, minus 1. Cool. Then we want to go change hashtag by 1. Alright, so as you can see with the, um, here, right, I got that change purple clone counter thing going on. Yeah, so iterating. So then we want to go if. Now here's the, um, the math part. I don't really like math, but here's the math part. So, 
we need a squirt. Pretty sure squirt stands for square root. After that, we're going to want a times. We're actually going to need a lot of those. We actually need a lot of room. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have two times. Um, no, we have four times. So we need four of these. I think we... I think we need two pluses. Um, oh no. Forgive me. I think we just need one. And then we have a minus and a minus for each one of these. So minus, minus. Actually, we'll just duplicate this. Yeah, okay. I think this is how it went. And then you chuck her in there. So we'd go X position. Minus item of red, right? And then we do that here, do that here and here, and we'll go with X and X. Yep. Uh, also, you gotta have the, that one. And then here we're gonna go Y position and Y position. Sorry, I'm a little bit slow on this because I don't really remember how to do it too much. Okay, so make sure that these are all Y's. Now yeah, we're going to grab that hashtag. We're going to go hashtag, 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 and hashtag. Okay, I'm going to go here, and we're going to go like this. So we're trying to find out if the, the one that we're iterating through is smaller than the, the smallest one we've got. So we're going to need to duplicate this chucker there. And we want to change out these for the minimum. So the way I would go is if the distance of the one we're iterating is smaller than the minimum, then we can set um uh, we'll just fit her in there. Then set the minimum to hashtag and then we're going to create another variable called closest closest red. That's what we're we'll calling. Oh, oops. Uh, make sure the the closest red is uh, for the sprite only. So set closest red. Oh, just making sure. Um, you guys don't actually have to be watching this part. This is just if you want this other technique, right? The stuff here. Um, that's all you really need, and what I showed you before, the other tracking method, that's all you really need. But this is just, you know, finding, oh, and uh, this part, you also really need this part. Um, but and if you got this part, you can stop watching, but if you, if you really want to see this, then, uh, yeah, continue. So, we want to grab the min hashtag, and this should, it should work. Okay, please, oh, make sure you fill these guys in with the closest red all right please work first try do not humiliate me um it uh, it's it feels like it's working ish i think if we add in a forever loop And make a block called find closest. Yeah, it doesn't make it super fast to do that. If we chuck them there, and we go like that, then I think yeah, that that worked. That worked.